Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. I hope that uh, those of you who watched the uh, previous uh, overview had a great trading week since there was a very nice opportunity that uh, I showed you here and of course we're gonna do the same for the upcoming week. So while I roll the intro disclaimer hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back. We will start with the Dixie as usual. And uh, as you see, as I said last week, I'm expecting a continuation for the dollar weakness from last week. And we've been mentioning uh, this trend line that if we uh, see a break here to see a possible continuation toward the major trend, trend line. So that market, market objective is now done. Uh, we testing that uh, major trend line at the moment and uh, as you see we tested the 200 moving average almost uh, to the pip on the dixie here so uh, what to wait for for next week well of course um, what i'm seeing here is the rsi at the uh, extreme oversold right now and uh, what i'm thinking of is uh, if we're going to have some kind of correction before this continuation so uh, for more downside to, uh, on the dollar, I want to see this uh, trend line here that have been tested many times in the past to be uh, really broken strongly to the downside and even below the 200 moving average with a slow correction back, then uh, the bigger continuation uh, on uh, this market. But as for now and um, early in this week, I'm eyeing a possible uh, correction probably uh, back up toward uh, these areas around the 97.25. Uh, does this market um, have to correct all the way? Of course not. But um, again, the RSI on the daily and on the four hour been um, on the oversold. Uh, it is a pretty extended move. So it would not be a bad idea to start looking for some kind of correction back toward uh, 97.25 or even the monthly pivot point up here. Yes. So is, uh, if this is our last low here, then we could take a Fibonacci retracement tool and see what we've got. So the 38.2 is a good level, but what I really do like most is the 618 that is at the same level almost where we have the monthly pivot point the neckline and probably the 200 moving average on the four hour could be here somewhere if the price reached that correction yeah so um, yeah that's it for the dixie for oil uh, also as you remember from the last week overview i told you guys to wait for the last dip toward this low here uh, or sorry this support area because usually the market uh, like to tax those major levels before you see any reversal and that exactly what happened and we know that this is an interesting support and resistance area from uh, a very old uh, uh, area here so we've got the first bounce uh, there is room to the upside for this market to correct we broke below the 200 moving average and we kept trending strongly to the downside so some kind of correction now is very possible i would like to see at least a correction toward the uh, 60 areas or around the monthly r1 here this could be a, a good possible market objective or possible target before the next bounce to the downside um, if we take a fib retracement for this whole leg we see that 618 is also uh, at that same level where we have uh, this nice uh, neckline and monthly R1. So some kind of correction toward that 618 could be a good level to uh, target uh, near term uh, bullish move uh, on oil is uh, possible. Also keep an eye on the 50% retracement where we have this uh, structure here and possibly the 200 moving average if the market reached that level the 200 moving average may be reached that level as well at the same time so before the 618 keep an eye on the 50 uh, percent on this one so possible reversal here for our time frame to be more sure about it you want to see a 
break above uh, this uh, above this high here yeah so if we got that break look for the correction and the next move higher there is a shoulder head shoulder scenario here as well so uh, that is also a possible reversal signal uh, for the oil uh, any retest toward this level try to look for another buy from uh, these lows gold very uh, strong push and keep holding the highs as you see here uh, the divergence on the rsi four hour time frame is going crazy and screaming reversal but still oh, uh, gold keep holding the highs we start having the wicks coming from upside now and we did tag the previous high uh, just a little bit above that as well uh, before we got some more uh, rejection show um, it is uh, here where we should be looking for a possible reversal on gold and not buying uh, the gold uh, unless we have a deeper correction so keep an eye on this uh, um, area here as you see the divergence is clear and uh, any sign of break below this uh, neckline here look for the next retest a failed new high could signal one leg toward the 1310 area down here this is a very very possible scenario especially if the dixie to start correcting higher and especially if the stock market keep pushing uh, to the upside usd um here we had another market that kept pushing higher we reached monthly r2 already that is a big deal guys and as I told you like uh, last week, uh, we were looking for any retest to this level to buy it or if we break this trend line and this high to start looking for the continuation. So it was a choppy one as we had uh, uh, the um, uh, NFB on Friday, we had the ECB as well. Uh, and the press conference so it got a little bit choppy but still uh, the euro bulls did really manage to move a lot and uh, very soon we have the 200 moving average coming from above this would be the first time we touch it if we reach that since uh, back here on the way to the downside so we broke the major trend line which is key as you see many times been tested here as uh, resistance uh, even this time but this was a fake out and uh, now that is broken uh, also previous highs are broken so uh, we uh, managed to break this high and this uh, key high of this range so uh, pretty strong push to the upside rsi is already at the um, overbought and we reach it monthly or two uh, there is a possibility for continuation but again even here we do have a very strong uh, divergence on the four hour uh, time frame so uh, i'm thinking for uh, some kind of correction before uh, that uh, continuation to the upside to happen so keep an eye on this possible correction i would say we should wait for the euro to go all the way back toward uh, monthly r1 and here we will take a decision if we see bullish evidence here again then there is a possibility for some uh, continuation to the upside or consolidation in uh, this upper range and if that is the case if we start seeing the euro um, <coughs> making this consolidation in this upper range there is a big chance longer term that we move uh, forward toward uh, one point uh, 145 uh, so this is uh, the area uh, any close any break and close below this low here you should start looking for the next leg toward monthly pivot point before the reversal yeah so bullish but wait for this correction toward monthly r1 to then see uh, if we have any bullish ev uh, evidence at this level for the continuation or if we're gonna break below and make a deeper correction sterling um, pushing higher but not as um, strongly as uh, the euro does uh, it is going slowly to the upside and we are soon at this key level where we have the monthly pivot point and these uh, previous structures so if we uh, go back with the chart you're gonna see that 
we are about to test this level here uh, the low we had here after the brexit uh, candle here we had the next week uh, another dip so this is a level that many many traders do remember that is for sure and the market gonna remember this level uh, even this this time on the retest yeah so this is an area that we really should keep an eye at up here at this level uh, there is a possibility for uh, trouble on the way even on this one we do have uh, bearish uh, bearish divergence on the RSI uh, it is a clear bearish divergence here and uh, look for a possible reversal here maybe another leg to the downside to happen if we breaks above monthly pivot point and above the 200 on the four hour we're going to look for the retracement. If it is a slow one, then there is a possibility for continuation higher. But as first, I'm looking for a possible one more leg to the downside on this market. USD JP still um, holding at the 108 area. This is a key support level. We know that from previously this whole range here for a couple of years uh, did uh, hold and uh, still uh, acting as a possible support so we should keep considering this as a uh, strong support for now and try to buy for a possible reversal toward this level uh, especially if the stock market keep pushing uh, higher next week on those expectation of uh, <laughs> the rate cut uh, that the market is expecting now from the from the fed uh, so the, the stock market is moving higher based on that despite uh, very bad uh, NFP numbers uh, so 108 area still a possible support but for more upside we need to break out of this range to then look for that retest in continuation uh, we're gonna keep buying 108 until we see a very strong break below it that would maybe change the bias especially if the correction happened to keep holding below 108 but as for now buy 108 and look for that bounce toward the 109 or 110 area USD chief also moved strongly to the downside broke a major trend line as you see this uh, trend line is a very old one um, and we broke also below the 200 moving average we did retest of that and another push lower so this market uh, is now clearly um, it broke the the longer term uh, bullish trend that we had here and it may keep pushing to the downside but with such a move and an rsi uh, very extended move and RSI near the uh, at the oversold we should be a little bit cautious and wait for uh, some kind of corrections I would say uh, one other possible scenario is you get another one leg down toward monthly just below monthly as to before that correction to start happen but let's not forget a very extended move we reach it monthly as to the low of the range here is an area that we should be looking at as a possible uh, support level as a possible at least short term reversal to the back to the top of this range it is a pretty wide range so we may see some consolidation here before the next move to the downside to happen or even if we break above wait for a deeper correction before the next leg uh, longer term as far as we are holding below the 200 moving average here it is a sell on this market USD CAD same scenario broke also the major trend line and those of you who have been following me for a while you know what I'm looking for guys yes so I repeat that for if you didn't watch this uh, these overview before we had impulse correction here we've got another impulse we have a correction and what I'm looking for is this move here so we are looking to trade this trade do not miss this trade and as you see when this pair start trending to the upside there was no much correction to the downside you do not have much of correction same scenario here yeah so uh, when it goes and if it starts going things will go very fast so 
you do not wait for a much deeper correction if this thing to start going now keep an eye on this here we have uh, clearly a possible level of support here previous structure lows 200 moving average monthly s2 all of them happen to be at this low here so um, don't uh, chase this uh, as you see it is pretty extended move wait for some uh, correction I would love to see the correction going all the way toward this level here to then start looking for the reversal to the downside yeah so don't chase it let it correct let it make some consolidations before the breakout if that is the case there will be a time to trade this market without any rush Aussie USD also moving it to the upside but also reached a key level we know that this area been acting as good uh, support and resistance so we tested that level be aware of that um, it is a bullish move now higher highs higher lows higher high again on the daily time frame so we are trending to the upside at the moment but let's, let's not forget we had this before trending to the upside we got another leg to the downside start trending slowly another strong uh, move to the downside so we maybe have another bearish flag who knows could be a bearish flag before uh, another leg to the downside in any case keep an eye on this area where the price is testing right now this is a key level and it may act as uh, resistance next week if you get a break above it then of course you may get a retest of the 200 moving average on the daily as well but again this still a downtrend we are still trading below the 200 moving average on the daily time frame any um, continuation toward this 200 moving average and the trend line could be an area to start looking for the next leg to the downside we will not forget that we uh, had a very strong a very strong below this uh, previous structure here with our last lower low here these inside here they are a, a minor um, minor structure moves here yeah the bigger move is still this here this what's going on here the bigger move here is this one this lower high this lower low and you could just getting one more and another one to the downside so be aware of that um, to be more uh, sure about this continuation you need to see the price holding above this level and maybe the next leg to the upside another possibility that you see the market going back to the bottom of this range to then short term start looking for another bounce higher this is also a possibility back down toward the monthly pivot point and the bottom of the channel but uh, we broke above the 200 moving average on the four hour and we're holding above it right now so this short term continuation to the upside is still possible but don't forget you may be getting yet another one of these happening here as well okay <clears throat> New Zealand USD much stronger than the euro as uh, than the Aussie USD sorry so if you look at this slope here how the market is moving and you compare this with this slope it is going much much stronger uh, trend here and uh, a uh, much steeper slope after this double bar so we tested this uh, trouble level last week still no break above it we could still go a little bit higher but here when we reach the 50 percent retracement and this area where we have this previous neckline and the 200 moving average this here gonna be a big trouble level because you may start getting at least a deeper correction from uh, this area yeah so early next week could be a trouble already at this level and start giving you some kind of uh, retracement to the downside where you may be gonna see your first higher low on the bigger time frame around the monthly pivot point so I'm not looking to buy we done a very nice move here could uh, look for some uh, counter trend counter this move here uh, next week uh, because my expectation is possibly a, a correction before the bigger and uh, the stronger reversal 
uh, to continue. If this is our highest high, we could also measure a Fibonacci retracement here. And we see that we do have a possible 2618 rate to happen at the neckline here. We have the 618 and we have the monthly pivot point. So this here, this buy here, going to be very, very interesting. Uh, one bonus chart for you guys today is uh, USD Norwegian Krona. Uh, this uh, chart, I like it a lot. We had a clear um, range here. And here is the bottom of it to then the price start ranging in this upper range making a nice rounded top that now got broken strongly on the daily so uh, on this one what we're looking for for uh, for next week is of course if we're gonna have some kind of uh, correction toward this broken structure here to then start looking for the next leg to the downside. I published this idea on TradingView. You can go over there and check that. I will keep updating this chart. And uh, this is uh, the main scenario. So uh, yeah, let's hope we uh, get that uh, for next week. The easiest way would be if you get this uh, correction happening slowly like this, making some kind of flag oscillating nicely to then give you the breakout that would be uh, perfect but um, who knows you maybe get just one of these moves and back down again so uh, there is a possibility that you see this and then a possible drop um, a good sign would be if oil keep uh, pushing to the upside because uh, this pair and the Norwegian Krona is uh, like the uh, the the CAD uh, very correlated with oil. So if you see oil keep pushing higher, this market may keep pushing to the downside. So yeah, that was it. Thanks a lot, and see you next.